Hey guys, so today we're going to attempt to do something a little different. We're going to make a braided wig. <laughs> okay, so also if you guys are interested in winning this hair you see right here, continue to keep watching. So you're going to need your hair, a canvas block and a wig head holder, a netted cap, crochet needle, T-pins and needles, and thread. So firstly, what I'm going to do is just put my netted cap on my canvas block head. And um, if you picked up the same cap that I have, it's just kind of open on both ends. Um, you're going to need to close that part up. So what I like to do is just kind of fold the ends inside, kind of like turning it slightly inside out, if that makes any sense. And I'm taking my needle and thread and I am closing it. Again, this option, this right here is optional because if you buy the netted caps that are kind of like a skull cap, you don't have to do that. But unfortunately, I got the wrong cap, so I had to do it. So I went ahead and I cut the excess part that was inside of the cap out because you don't need it. And I put it back onto my canvas block. So here's the hair that I'm going to be using and this hair can be picked up from samsbeauty.com. I'll have all the information located down below. But this is the Janet Collection 8 times value pack Havana, Havana, Havana Mambu Twist. Say that 10 times quick. <laughs> but yeah, this is a one solution pack. You get everything all in one pack to complete one full head. Um, I got mine in the color 1B. There's two pieces of 10 inches, there's two pieces of 12 inches, there's two pieces of 14 inches, and there's two pieces of 16 inches. So it's kind of um, ranging lengths to give you more of a natural appearance. Again, one pack completes your entire head. So what I went ahead and I did was I took my crochet needle and I put it through one of the little loops in my um, netted cap. And um, I secured the hair in the needle and then I looped it. I'm going to explain it again just in case you guys did not get it the first time. Again, I am putting my crochet needle through the netted cap. and I'm going through a couple of holes on the netted cap just so we don't tear it. Now I am just putting the hair inside of the crochet needle, closing the little cage, pulling it through. Then I'm kind of opening up that loop that's in the top of the braid. And then I'm just sticking the tail of the braid through it and then just pulling it tight so that it is secured. Um, it's really simple. You guys can go back and pause this video and watch it back. Um, you know, just, just until you guys get the gist of what I'm doing. It's super easy. I made this entire wig in probably less than an hour, <laughs> to be honest with you guys. Um, it's super easy. Once you guys understand how to do it, it becomes a lot more easier than you guys will be done in like 45 minutes to an hour. Um, but again, I am just uh, working my way up. I'm starting with the 16 inches in the back, then I'm working my way up to the 14 inches, then the 12 inch, and I'm closing off the wig with the 10 inches to the very top. Um, again, this hair is really easy, and the good thing about this hair, if you guys were to install it, like, you know, just doing crochet braids onto your own, you know, cornrows, um, this hair is super lightweight. Like, this hair is, it looks heavy, but it's not. It's really, really light. And um, with that being said, Sam's Beauty is having yet another giveaway on this hair. Um, I'll have all the rules um, provided down below as usual. And we are going to be choosing two lucky winners to be owners of this hair. Again, this pack is good enough to complete one full head. You don't have to make a wig like I did. You know how I am. I just choose to do something a little bit more different, something that's a little bit more um, reliable for me because you guys all know I don't like to commit to one specific style. Not to mention braids and me don't really get along. I have chronic migraines, so I don't really like to um, have anything on my head that's going to, um, you know, um, kind of mess with my scalp or my head. I just kind of like to be able to go home at night and take whatever's on my head off and go to sleep, okay? Um, but whatever you guys choose to do with this hair, it is completely, you know, up to you. But I just chose to make a wig because you guys know I'm just different like that. 
um, but here is the wig completed it's so full you guys don't have to bunch your braids up like I did because it kind of makes it look a little bulky in specific areas you guys can indeed space it out and then I do recommend towards the front kind of putting them a lot closer together to prevent those gaps like I kind of had this is my first time doing it so you guys have to bear with me um, I just kind of like to be the guinea pig well although I'm really not um, I really was inspired by um, uh, braid wig queen I think that's her name braid wig queen and beauty cam braid but I kind of want to do something a little bit easier because their their method is a little too difficult for a girl like me um but I just decided to do this right here and um um it's not a complete fail but um you guys can kind of see exactly how it's looking as this video goes on but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get my little braided wig on. And as you guys can see, it's kind of bulky in specific areas. You kind of have to go in and just kind of play around with it. Move the braids around to get it to um, look a little bit natural um, or to your liking. And yeah, it's really, really easy. Um, I probably wouldn't wear this braided wig out the way how you see it just because there's a lot of gaps in it and um, people might be standing behind you in line they might be like okay like <laughs> what's that on your head um, but this is something that you know if I'm running somewhere really quick I might want to just toss on like a beanie or a hat this is like one of those type of hairstyles that I created um, but again I do highly suggest you guys checking out um, braid wig queen and I'll leave her link below because she makes braided wigs and she is on point she is the truth um, and also Beauty Kim Braid, she um, teaches you guys how to install these braids um, like a professional stylist, okay? Um, but yeah, this is what my braided wig look like. What y'all think? Be honest. <laughs> Be honest, okay? Um, it's, it's okay, like again, for running errands, if you gotta go somewhere real quick, you, can, you know, it's cold outside, so throw on a beanie, throw on a hat. Um, and you can kind of fool people to thinking that, you know, your hair is freshly braided, but really it's just, you know, kind of like a braided wig cap under your head. Um, but yeah, um, again, like this hair is gorgeous. And the next time, um, I decide to get this hair, I probably will try to install it onto my braids. I might not do it too tight, but I'll do it really loose to where it doesn't give me a headache. Um, but yeah, here's a close-up of the braids. They look super natural. You guys can kind of see how the ends are closed off. Um, yeah, and I believe these are handmade. These are handmade braids, so it looks super natural and not like the little factory-made braids. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about. If you guys want to wear this with a beanie or a hat, um, you can definitely get away with it. It doesn't look too crazy, does it? Does it look crazy? Well, okay, I don't think so. But um, yeah, if you're running out the house real quick and you want to just, you know, you don't want to put on a wig or you don't want to wear like your Sealy braids out, you can just toss on this braided wig with a beanie, a hat, and hey, you know, judge me if you want. <laughs> but yeah, again, you guys do check out my giveaway. I'll have all the information located down below. Let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you guys later.